Hello Adventures, Seraph here. I've tried about three times now to make this video and it's it's just becoming too long. There's too much to answer. My advice is to go to the description for this video. I'm going to put the link for this webpage in the description for this video and you're going to have to go down to the Q&A section and find the areas that apply to you because trying to kind of condense it is, is just impossible. I've tried my best and the video just gets too long. But essentially this is good news for those of us that are on the PlayStation that we've been locked out of using our account on our mobile phones or PC or anything. Finally, us PlayStation users will be able to play on those devices after the update 2.0. And if for some reason PC mobile users switch in the future, all that, Nintendo Switch, at some point, or iOS, Apple and all that, if at some point they decide they want to play on the PlayStation for some reason, they will be able to do that as well uh, after update 2.0. But there is a lot of like specific things you need to know about that to make that work. Um, for example, when you create a PlayStation Genshin Impact account, the first time you've played Genshin Impact on PlayStation, it creates a Mohoyo account in the background. Now, us PlayStation users have never had access to that. It's there behind the scenes, but we don't get to use that account and log into like the website with Mohoyo or, you know, log into a PC mobile and everything. That account is linked to our PSN ID, and it's always been there, but we've never been able to use it until now. With update 2.0, we will finally be able to take that account, link it to an email that is not associated with anything Mohoyo previously. In other words, if that email is linked to anything Mohoyo related, Genshin Impact, probably even Honkai Impact, that's from their game of theirs, then you will not be able to use that. You have to take that PlayStation account and link it to something that's new, a new email, Something that's not associated with them, essentially. So it's important you understand that. Um, essentially, as well, it's the same thing on the PC mobile and all that. If they've got their account that's created, that was always created from the beginning of playing on those platforms, if you want to play that account on the PlayStation, if you've already got a PlayStation ID and it's already played Genshin Impact on the PlayStation, you will not be able to take that PC mobile account and play it on the PlayStation with that ID that's already associated with a Genshin Impact account. So essentially, and it's hard to explain, I hope I'm not confusing you. Essentially, if you're a PC, mobile, iOS, whatever user, and you want to play your account on the PlayStation for some reason, <laughs> maybe to experience the controller, I don't know. It's kind of nice, the controller's kind of nice. Um, what you'd have to do is either that PlayStation account has never loaded Genshin Impact before, and if it has never loaded Genshin Impact before, what happens is the first time you load it up, a pop-up box is going to appear letting you link your PC mobile iOS account that's with Genshin to that PlayStation ID. That, and it only pops up one time. And if you screw that up and you load up the game and you pass that, that dialog box, then that account, that PlayStation account creates a, in the background, Mohoyo account all on its own. That basically all of us PlayStation users already have that. Like I said, we just have not had access, we have not had access to it, but it will create one all on its own. So you got to make absolutely sure that when you're loading it up for the first time on a PlayStation account that it's never played it on before, that you link an existing account you already have on the PC mobile iOS to that PlayStation account and that you don't skip past that dialog box. Um, or maybe you don't care. Maybe, maybe you're like in my situation where you've got a separate PS4, PS5 account, and then you've got your PC mobile account and the two are separate. They've already got both their own Mohoyo accounts. Um, I guess it won't matter to you. In my situation, what's going to happen since I already had the PS4, PS5 account, and then I also made a uh, PC mobile account, they're forever separate because they've got their own Mohoyo account associated with them. There's nothing I can do about that. I can't ever link them together. They're forever separate. They're on the same server. They're on American servers, but they will forever be separate. If I wanted to play my PC mobile account on the PlayStation, it's really simple. I just make a new PlayStation ID. And I don't even have to get PlayStation Plus or any of that nonsense. You don't have to do any of that. You can just make, at least as far as I know, maybe they're going to require that with update 2.0. I hope not. But as of right now, I, I, have, I have not had PlayStation Plus since like November of 2020. And I don't plan on getting it anytime soon because the majority of what I use on there, I don't need it. Anyways, so you can just simply make a PlayStation account um, if you're planning on using your PC mobile on there. And when you load it up for the first time on that PlayStation account, it will give you the dialog box allowing you to link it to the PC mobile. Now, us, us existing users for the PS4 and PS5, what we're going to do 
is we're going to be able to finally have access to our Mahoyo account that was associated with our PlayStation ID this whole time. We finally get access to it. We will then get to register it to an email and then we will be able to go onto the website where Mahoyo gives like the forums and you know, all the account stuff that we've never had access to like the battle Chronicle, which is really cool. We will finally have access to that as well. Um, and we will be able to play our PlayStation account logging in to mobile, iOS, PC, whatever. So that's really awesome for me. That's really awesome because there's some times where I'm like, man, there's something I want to do on my PlayStation account, but I, I, I can't be near it at that time. And if I could just log into my phone, if I could just log into my PC, well, guess what? We're finally going to be able to do that. But just keep in mind that every PSN account that's ever loaded Genshin Impact, it creates a Mahoyo account behind the scenes and it's always been there. So there's nothing we can do. If you've already had a PC mobile account separate from the PS4, there's no way to ever link them. I just want to make that clear. And if there's uh, any emails that are associated with your PC mobile account, email addresses, those cannot be linked to the existing PlayStation account that's already been created. If you've never made one though, and like I said, the first time you load it up on a PlayStation, you can link an existing PC mobile account email to that PlayStation account as it's being created and being loaded for the first time. Again, there's a dialog box that's supposed to pop up. If you go through all the Q&A here, it explains it a lot better than I am. I, I tried my best, but I just I probably am confusing people. It, it's a tough one to go over. There's a lot of caveats. There's a lot of things you need to understand about it. Um, but it's just really cool. It's great news that we're finally getting this. For example, one thing that's really important to note is this one uh, area down here where it's talking about the servers. Uh, question six, I have game progress on the TWHK and MO server on iOS, Android, or PC. Can I link this Mahoyo account to my account for PSN that is not yet associated with a Mahoyo account? In other words, they've never loaded PSN Genshin Impact before so that PSN ID has never played Genshin Impact so it didn't create an account in the background. Can I share game progress after linking? This is one of those caveats I was telling you about. Apparently, a Mahoyo account can be linked to an account for PSN that is not yet associated with Mahoyo account, duh. However, sharing progress between the Genshin Impact TWHK and MO server and an account for PSN is currently not supported because there is no corresponding servers in that area for PSN. So what that means is if you're in one of those areas and you got a PC mobile account and you want to go and on the PSN link that PC mobile account to a PSN account for the first time, since PSN is not in that area currently for Genshin Impact, you won't be able to do that, apparently. You won't be able to link it. Currently, it says only game progress on the America, Europe, and Asian servers can be shared with the corresponding server for your account for PSN. All right, so anyway, this, this video is getting too long. Point is, there's a lot, lot of Q&A. There's a lot to read. I highly recommend if there's anything that I haven't covered in what I've said or if I've just confused you, I highly recommend that you read through all this. There, there's a lot to cover, a lot. And I will again put the link for this in the description for this video. But I've tried to just make it as general as possible that the good news about this and the overall thing to take out of this is for the most part, we will be able to finally, as PlayStation users, access that Mahoyo account that's always been there the whole time and play on the PC mobile whenever we feel like it. And if there's any PC mobile users that want to play on the PlayStation for some reason in the future, they will be able to as well, as long as, like I said, they um, it's never created an account with that PlayStation account in the first place. It has to be a first time thing for the PlayStation. Oh, I apologize if I've confused anybody, you know, hit a like or dislike accordingly. Let me know in the comments what I could have done better. But anyways, other than that, maybe hit like or smash subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one adventures.